Hey guys, so let's cover Cartesian planes and coordinate geometry. The Cartesian plane is represented by these axes. We have the x and the y axis. Positive values for x are over here on the right, negatives are over here on the left, like a normal number line. The y axis is similar, except that it's vertical. So positive values are up here, negative values are down here. Their intersection point is where the origin is, 0, 0. So knowing that this side is positive and this side is positive, what people usually call quadrant 1, will have positive x and y values. Over in quadrant 2, you'll have negative x's and positive y's. In quadrant 3, you'll have negative y's and negative x's. And in quadrant 4, you'll have positive x's and negative y's. Just remember the format is always x comma y when you're referring to points on a Cartesian plane. So there's some formulas you're going to need to know when dealing with the Cartesian plane and coordinate geometry. First up is the distance formula. If you have two points, xa, ya, and xb, yb, the distance between those two points is going to be the square root of xa minus xb squared plus ya minus yb squared. Now, the order here, xa, xb, ya, yb, isn't as important as just being consistent. And by that I mean you can have xb, xa here, but that means you'd need yb, ya here. So whatever number you lead up with here, needs to be the number that leads up the difference in y's, and vice versa. So for instance, if we have a value here of, let's say, 1, 2, and another value here of 3, 5, the distance between these two points is the square root of 3 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 2 squared, which gets us 2 here squared, which is 4. Here we get 3 squared, which is 9. We get 4 plus 9 is 13, square root of that. So the distance between these two points is the square root of 13. Now, when I was referring to the order here, you could take a look at this example and see that I have this set of numbers coming first in each of these differences. You can have 1, 2 lead up the numbers, but that just means that you would need 1 here, then 3, and then 2 here, then 5. Just make sure you're consistent. Next up, we have the midpoint formula. If you have two points, x, a, y, a, and x, b, y, b, the midpoint will be x, a plus x, b divided by 2, ya plus yb divided by 2. So if we have these two points again, 3, 5, and 1, 2, the midpoint halfway between them would be xa plus xb, which is 1 plus 3 divided by 2, and 2 plus 5 divided by 2. So 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is 2, and we get 2 plus 5, which is 7, divided by 2. 7 over 2. Simplified out. That's just 2 and 3 and a half. Another formula you're going to need to know is the slope formula. Slope refers to the rise and run between two points on a line on a Cartesian plane. So if we have two points here, the run refers to the horizontal distance between the two points, and the rise refers to the vertical distance. So if you have two points, xa, ya, and xb, yb, to calculate the slope, you'd need the difference in y's over the difference in x's. Now, like with the distance formula, the ordering here doesn't matter as much as the consistency in ordering. So here you'll notice we have the yb term first. That just means we need the xb term first here in the bottom of the fraction. You could put the a term first, but that would just mean you'd need the a term, a term first here for the x values. So if two lines have the same slope, they're parallel lines, 
And if two lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals, they're perpendicular lines. By negative reciprocals, I mean if you have a slope of 3, the negative reciprocal would be negative 1 over 3. You would just take the number and turn it into a fraction. Vice versa, if you have 1 fourth as a slope, the negative reciprocal would be negative 4, or 4 over 1. So another thing you're going to need to know about Cartesian planes is the slope-intercept form of an equation, which is y equals mx plus b. Here, x and y just refer to the x's and y's we've been dealing with. m refers to the slope of the line, and b refers to the y-intercept of the line. So knowing this format means that you can figure out a line's equation as long as you have two points on a line, so that can refer to any two points on that one line, or one point and the y-intercept, the y-intercept being where on the y-axis a line hits, which would be right here in this example. You can also figure out a line's equation if you have a point as well as the slope of the line. So any one point in the slope would work, or the y-intercept and the slope would work. All right, so that's it for this video on Cartesian planes and coordinate geometry. Here's some questions if you want to review some of the topics we just covered. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.